Maybe I better start at the beginning. Nuts. Welcome to Central Air Conditioning. Hey, nice shoes, Jake. <laughs> hey, hey, look, I know you only got five bucks, but sit down anyway. Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding, kidding. Come on, sit down. If I knew you were coming, I would have laid out the lines. Hi, Whitaker. Hi, yeah. Now, we've got your basic girl. But wait, that's not all, folks. We also have your 100% primo grade A blow cane. And we also have on the tray that Jay is now bringing down the aisle. Jay! Bring that tray down here. Come on, big guy. On that tray, we also have straight from the West Coast some Grateful Dead blotter acid. What'll it be? Gee, that's a hard one. Door number one? The box? Go with the pot. I'll go with the pot. Ah. <laughs> nice, huh? Roll this up, will you? Beer? Yeah, thanks. So how have you been? Oh, you know life with Jake. Blowing coke, eating sushi. And making lots and lots of money. Of course. Thanks. So, how much of this fine marijuana am I dealing you? How much is it? Fifty bucks a quarter, because I like you. Make it an eighth. Wit, my friend. Twenty-five bucks won't even pay my labor to weigh it. Well, here, I'll do it. Ah, 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 ah. No, you won't. So what's new with your band? Are you rolling or are you talking? We've got a gig on Friday. Mm. Savage Beliefs have a gig? Yeah. <laughs> well, wonders never cease. The fool would allow that. The West End. You guys should come. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to listen to that wimp-sucking teeny bopper. Teeny bopper crap. Gus. Guy! Hey! hey. <laughs> Who's your favorite clown? <laughs> Hey, I got my Jag double parked outside, man. It'll be okay. Okay. Hey, uh, can we talk a minute? Sure. Step into my office. <laughs> Here, smoke this. Okay, boss. <laughs> So you still looking for a job? Nah. Well, yeah. I've been getting kind of discouraged lately. Yeah, I guess there aren't many jobs around for high school art teachers. Yeah, you got it. Why don't you try substitute teaching? <laughs> well, I don't know. I think maybe I wasn't really cut out for teaching school. Yeah. I remember how little he was when you got him. Yeah, he's a killer now. Oh, he surely is. Big bills. That's what Jake likes. Well, Jake has what I like. Uh, see you next week. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Jake's double parked outside. Ciao. I love that guy.
Move over, man. I'm not your boyfriend. I love that guy. He admires your snake. He does. But it's more than that. Maybe I should invite him over to dinner. How about some music? Not the savage beliefs, of course. Uh, something a little more civilized is in order. That's civilized? is civilized. Oh, thanks. I gotta drive. How often do you offer free cocaine? Not too often, but the band's rehearsing tonight. <laughs> Definitely need to practice. What <laughs> now? Alright, Jake. Ramo, take care of yourself. Okay. Are you leaving? Thank you. Got what I came for. Okay. And Alicia. Please. Hi, Alicia. Hey, I know you were coming, so I laid out the lines. Ah, uh, this is what. Alright, Ah, uh, before you go, with you all? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jake. Uh huh. Drive safely with. Was it? Really? Yeah. What time is your show? Around 10. Think you'll come? Yeah. Good. I'll put you on the guest list. Um, uh, Jake too? <laughs> he definitely won't make it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you sometime when Jake's not around. Not that I'll have a whole lot of time. That's OK. We'll talk. When? Are you doing anything tomorrow afternoon? No. Why don't you stop by? OK. Low game can be yours for the low, low. Amigo's only price of only 125. Did we give our little witty poo a kiss bye-bye? I gave him a blowjob. <laughs> Man, Riley didn't do Bark on the seat, man. You barked on the cop's neck. Junk. <laughs> Jesus, Castle, you quit telling that fucking story. Man, I got a right to tell that story, man. They made oh, me clean it up. Break. Have you ever cleaned up neck barf? Hey, perfect timing. Hey, let us go. I let you go too if you throw up in my car. <laughs> Where the devil is Wick? Deborah's making tofu cheesecake tonight, and I absolutely oh, cannot gosh. be late. Hey, I'm right here, okay? And 15 minutes late? Sorry, brain guy. Going someplace? Man, Deborah's making tofu cheesecake tonight. Ugh. Ugh. What a concept. I feel like uh, maybe we should practice. Yeah. What a concept. Let me tune up, okay? Yeah. Dude, why don't you do that? Take a couple hours. twice as long.
empty Like the space that you possess I've never seen you look so scared What was more, now is less I thought he said he'd be with his investment counselor. Jake has an investment counselor? Yeah. Since when? Since he was born. Well, that explains the silver spoon he wears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think his mother gave it to him. <laughs> anyway, he said he wouldn't be back till late. Maybe the cops will be gone by then. Hey, how did you know that it was the cops? Well, they're the only ones that come to the front door. Let's go for a ride. When I first came to Chicago, I did a few jobs as a stagehand on big rock shows. Well, at this one show, uh, I think it was the Bee Gees, I met Jake. Of course, he had a backstage pass. And... <laughs> Jake always has a backstage pass. <laughs> <laughs> Jake got me so high, I ended up losing my job. <laughs> and then he took me out drinking. So I still stop by once in a while. I was surprised to find you there. 
I was surprised to find me there, too. But I still don't have a job. And you got to admit, the fringe benefits aren't bad. Sometimes Jake can be really fun to be around. You ought to move out of there. I mean, I've seen the way Jake treats his women. I can handle Jake. You know, I hope you don't mind my saying so, but, um, I saw Jake downtown today with another woman. Yeah? And they were kissing on Hubbard Street. So? Just thought you ought to know. Thanks. You deserve better than that. There's a lot you don't know about me, Whit. <laughs> yeah? Like what? Like, I have fantasies about you. Yeah? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck have you been? Whitaker, it figures. Oh, Jake, I've been so worried about you. You've been in a wet t shirt contest? I fell in the lake. And so did Whit, I see. He rescued me from the cops. He was driving by and, well, I was at the store. Wait a minute, let me get this straight. Whit was driving down the street and just by chance happened to see that the place was crawling with cops. Good eye, Whit. Good job. Yeah, that's the way it happened. Good job warning old Jake, too. Both of you, good job. You have fun at the beach? We didn't know where you were. Jake, tell me what happened. The fucking pigs were here. You know that part. It seems that someone has signed a complaint against me. Who? I don't know. But I'll find out. And that's great that you didn't get arrested. It cost me more than your life is worth, Whit. You can afford it. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing, man. Nothing. Shit. Where are you going? To shower away the evidence? To change. Bring me a beer. You want one? Yeah. Bring two. Man, oh man. I was so pissed after I paid up the cops, I went and bought a half ounce. Pissed off. Pissed off. I'm still pissed off. I can see that. Man, when I find out who did this to me, his ass is my meat. I'll fucking dismember the guy myself. Do a line. Christ. This has been one great day in the life of Jake. <sighs> At least the pigs didn't fuck with my snake. Hi, Gaddafi. How are you, boy? Oh, you poor little bastard. You must be hungry. Did you do a line? Yeah. You fuck Alicia? No. Don't lie to me, wit. You didn't ask me if I want to. You asked if I did. And if you did, wit, I'll skin you alive. Is any of that stuff for me? Why bother asking? You do what you want. Ooh, you're nasty when you're fucked up. I'm nasty when I'm crossed. Pull <sighs> this up. Look at Daffy. Daddy's brought you some fresh meat. Man, if he doesn't eat, Jake will be very upset. If 
Fucking Gaddafi will eat this. Cute, huh? Mmm, mmm, good. It looks so good I could eat it myself. Couldn't you? Jake, get out of here with that. Cut it out. Couldn't you? Mm, microwave it first. <laughs> <laughs> with a cherry tomato in its mouth. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, come on, Jake, it's funny. Well, fuck funny, don't laugh at me! Microwave it. You wimp. Anyway, I ate already. already. Oh, for God's sake, Jake, do something with that mouse. I'm going to feed it to Gaddafi. But we have to name it first. Any suggestions? Dinner. Oh, that is clever sweet meat. But it is wrong. Oh. I'll tell you what I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it Wit. First I'm going to fuck you with it, then I'm going to feed it to my snake. Come here, Wit. I want you to take a good look at this. Blitzkrieg by snake. It's natural and simple and complete. The weak get et and the strong get stronger. I know you understand that, Wit. That's why I like you. What now? Put a magazine over that Coke. Are you A. Jacob Huntington, I, I, I? That's right. Hi, Bob Strong, Big Big TV, the new cable television service. I only like to watch explicit sex on TV. My man, you're my kind of guy. That's optional with our basic service. It's called Lust TV. I love that stuff myself. In fact, we Would have... you like to come in? Please, please. Hi, Bob Strong. I'm with Lust TV, I mean Big Big TV. I heard you the first time. So, do people call you Jacob or Jake or... People call me Jake. You can call me Mr. Huntington. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Huntington. Sit down. <clears throat> now, what we offer is 37 channels with your basic service. Then we have Lust TV at a small additional charge. Plus, we've got your movie channels and... How much is it for Fuck TV? It's Lust TV. Well, which is it? I don't want Lust. I want fucking. It's the whole ball of wax, believe me. Then it's Fuck TV. How much is it? Well, the basic service to install is $65, but that's only a one-time charge. Then our regular service is $16.95 a month, plus Lust TV, which is $18 on top of that. That's 24 hours a day, a man's favorite sport. How much, then? Including installation? Yes, Mr. Dong. To have it in my home. How much? $99.95. Fine. You can keep the change, Mr. Dong. Thank you. Uh, I'll just get you a receipt and... Wait. Before you go, Mr. Dong, I would like to ask you a man-to-man -man question. If a man were to discover that his woman had made him a cuckold, would he be justified in revenge? I really wouldn't know. Would he be justified in... Slitting her throat. Slitting her throat simply and easily and watching the warm blood flow. Now see here! Get out! Fine! You two went out! 
She's staying. Guess I'll see you guys later. Don't count on it, Nick. Has your friend been drinking or what? He's not my friend. Well, he's something. Uh, can I leave you his receipt? Hey, why don't you take the money and run, okay? Nah, can't do that, nope. I'll just, uh, leave it in his door here. Say you don't own a television set, hey, do you? fuck off, pal, all right? Keep your shirt on, keep your shirt on. I'm going. Jeez. You fucking bitch! Tell me it's not true! Not true, Jake! Ow! I don't believe you! Ow! Jake! <laughs> That you wit? Yeah. So how's the affair going? Okay. Except for the fact that uh, Jake's beating the fuck out of her right now. <laughs> no. Did he find out? There's nothing to find out. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. It's a long story, man. I'll tell you about it after a couple of these. Well, you should have bought the hard stuff, but. This'll do. Because if you did, I'll sell you back into the gutter where you belong. Tell me I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Tell me, you bitch. Tell me. You are, Jake. You're the only one. Look, man. Any chick who would live with Jake has got to have severe brain damage. Yeah, he probably gave it to her, too. <laughs> Shit. You know, if anything happens to her, it's gonna be my fault. Your fault? If anything happens to her, it's gonna be Jake's fault, not yours. Maybe we should just go over there. It's 2 a.m., man. They're probably asleep. I would never jig, I swear. Tell me why. Why wouldn't you? Because you're the best, Jake. Because I love you. Now you're talking, baby. That's what Big Jake likes to hear. Morning, Audrey. Would you mind if I made a quick phone call? Why don't you use the payphone across the street? Come on, Joe, just a quick phone call, please. Please? Make it snappy. Thanks. Hello? 
Hi. I'm really worried about you. Doppy, I'm all right. All right? After last night? Yeah. Listen, I can't really talk right now. I understand. Look, just answer yes or no. Are you going to leave him? I don't know. Look, I don't know. I really got to talk to you. Yeah. Maybe that'd help. Will I see you at the gig Friday? Yes, definitely. Look, I really got to go. Goodbye. Who was that? A survey. Should have blown him off. Or did you already? Hey, I uh, see you brought some light reading material there, Brain. <laughs> if the space-time continuum were to move into a flawed mode in which relative time made no difference, then I would cease to care about Wesley's tardiness. Yeah. Then it might be able, you might be able to burp and fart at the same time. Right. <laughs> 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 Pretty rugged, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's do some ID. Look, just go over there. Just go get the manager. We know you. And he'll just, let me, excuse me. Excuse me, do you work here? I was looking for the band. Hey, yo, babe, you can't go down. Come here. Hey. Hey, Dan, man, it's cool. It's cool. She's with us. Okay. Hi, Whitaker. You ever hear the guest list? Yeah, I know. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. See you, Dan. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Glad you made it. You think I'd miss it? You look great. Oh, thank you. You look like you're on your way to a Halloween party. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> uh, maybe you should introduce me to the band. All right, you haven't even met these guys no. yet. This is um, Eric, Charming. this is Dave Hi, Riley, Dave. he plays bass, <laughs> and uh, that's Wes, he plays guitar. How do you do, Wes? And uh, he's... That's it, so they're real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, see, because that's his main squeeze, Nora. Um, Nora, I sympathize. <laughs> that's Mr. Brain Guy right there, smoking the pipe. Charmed. Yeah, and uh, that's well. his other half, Deb, right there. Hi, Deb. I'm his manager. <laughs> this is our sound guy, uh, James Bond, 007. That Bond. fits. James Bond. Listen, can I talk it's... to you for a minute? Huh? Do you mind? All right. Excuse us. Mother ever see you dress like that? Make sure you're either a shark or a faggot. And get lost, huh, punk? You want me to fart, scumbag? I told you to get lost, didn't I? Oh, shit! Oh, scumbag! Damn it! Oh! Mother ever Muscle Beach is now Pork Chop Hill! Yeah, McDermott here. Yeah, she's here. I just had to talk to you. I've been pretty worried about you. He hurt you? That's just part of the code. I hate that shit. I know, but I don't think he can help it anymore. I really wish there was something I could have done the other night to help you. Yeah, me too. Why don't you leave him and come live with me? <laughs> What's so funny about that? <laughs> Nothing. You're very sweet. Look, Jake hasn't always been like that. I keep thinking maybe there's something I can do to help Look, him. Look, I don't maybe... care about Jake. I care about you, okay? I mean, where's Jake right now? If I told you he was upstairs, would that stop you from kissing me? No. Then kiss me and let me worry about Jake.
except for naked ray gun. Come on, come on, hey, you little fuckers. Son of a bitch. All right, Savage Belief is up next. Hey, lover boy, man, we got a gig to play, okay? I really like your name. Everybody ready? No. One, two, three, four.
Hey, where's the guitar player go? We're gonna do another uh, number here. I've had about enough of you. I want to see Alicia. I want to see Alicia. That's right, Jake. Let's talk about what I want, Wick. I want you to stop fucking up my life. Your life was fucked up a long, long time before you ever met me. You tipped off the cops, Wit. I know you did. That's crazy, Jake. You know that's not true. You, you tipped them off to get me out of the picture. So you can have her all to yourself. You need a shrink, Jake. You need an ambulance, Wit. <laughs> I can have you killed cheaply and easily, Wit. I don't have to do it myself. Look, man, there is no reason. You do not run out on a gig. The guy's a wimp, he's a shitty guitarist, and he's out of the band. I don't care if he is my roommate. Are we gonna play an outdoor? I'm just asking. Look, my suspicion is that all this stems from that Alicia character. Brilliant observation, Sherlock. Listen, we can't fire him, that's all there is to it. Look, man, I'll tell you what you can't do. You cannot run out of a gig over some stupid chick. I don't care if he's my roommate, he's a fag, and he's out of the band, period. I concur. What's wrong with you assholes? What's your best friend? Aren't you worried about where he is? I, I thought he wanted to take a piss. to continue drinking heavily. Man, I'm positive. Oh, shit. God, this neighborhood sucks. Yeah, this is the answer in the truck. Man, I can't believe it. Tommy, you're used to by now. Thanks. Hey, guys. Gentlemen, I am Jay. Congratulations. I'll remember you said that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I suppose you're the idiot who wrecked my door. I want Whitaker. I want a new door. Where is he? Why don't you ask Alicia? Man, I'm calling a cop. I'm gonna hack you to pieces. I'm sure we can work something out, Jake. You know what I want. Hey, we're looking for him, too. You went off stage in the middle of our gig. Yeah. Look, man, we kicked him out of the band. I am willing to give you one last chance. For just one red-headed zit. That's clever, Jake. Of course, you're implying that wit's a blemish. And so much as he doesn't have any pimples. That's a contradiction. How'd you like to have blood spilled in that smart mouth of yours, boy? Look, man, enough is enough. I want you out of my crew! <laughs> Okay now, butt pin. You owe me a new door and a new phone. That's gonna cost me around two hundred dollars. 
Huh? Just yeah, say nothing of psychological damage. Yeah, how much would that cost, Brent? How much is left? Well, I'd say minus the 200, there's a good 800 bucks here. That sounds about right. You'd be sorry you did that. I'm sorry you want to Yeah, okay. Now, what I want to know is, why are you harshing my karma? Oh, yeah, he spit on me. This man is no gentleman. Might I have a sip of your beer? Well, help yourself, Eric. Oh, thanks, Doc. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 how's that taste, Jake? <laughs> so I'd bloody his face. No, let's cut his head off. Hey! <laughs> booga, booga, booga! I wish at least you could see that. Ah! Who is that? Thinking. Thinking about? You. And the band. A lot of things. Like this ridiculous running away with seven dollars. Well, we, we didn't plan this. I know that. Don't worry about it. I got money. That's not the point. Are you sorry you came? Of course not. It's my fault. I should have left Jake a long time ago. When I first met you, I had a feeling something like this would happen. Hey, I'm glad it did. You are a pushover.
But how? The garden hose flooded his high voltage amplifier. Ouch. Well, that's bizarre, all right. That's several explanations. The first, suicide. A creative approach to the old TV set in the bathtub routine. It's wit. Hey, I want that kid down here, now. Hello? Aaron? Suicide? Brain. Have you told Deb yet? Shit. I'll be there in a few hours. Well, we'll be here in a couple hours. Well, tell him to call me when he gets in. He was much too smart to kill himself. There are traces of cocaine use found in the apartment. You call that smart? Look, you may have found it, but he didn't use it. He's totally straight. What about marijuana? A lot of people smoke pot, detective. Yeah, and a lot of them end up dead, kid. Uh, frequently, your users move on to harder drugs. Importantly, one of your symptoms of cannabis use is a certain self-destructive carelessness. Now, maybe he was watering his house plants and forgot to turn off the garden hose. Yeah, right. The guy belonged to five book clubs. I thought this kid was a rock and roll musician. I've been expecting you, Wit. Listen, Ch Like my new car? I bought it so I could put your body in the trunk. I see you dressed for the occasion. Jake, I didn't do anything. Get in. Come on, Jake. You got plenty of women, I know you do. Because I am a man, Whitaker. And you are merely steak meat. Sit. Um, that's a pretty good disguise, Jake. I almost didn't recognize you. Shut up. going to be fun to torture you, Wit. Look, Jake, is there some way I could avoid that? No. I'll give her back to you, Jake. I mean, you can have her. I don't want the whore. I want justice. <sighs> this thing is between you and me now. Man to man. I'm going to hurt you, Wit. Oh, come on, Jake. Don't you think this has gone too far? Too far! Too far! When you finked on me, was that going too far? When you stole my woman, was that going too far? Didn't steal her, Jake. She ran away. She was afraid you were gonna hurt her. <laughs> oh, she's, oh, she's, she was a fucking she was a whore when, whore when I met her. I, met her. I swear to God, I swear she, was to God she was a fucking, a fucking prostitute. prostitute. Ah! Ah! 
and that bullshit about her being a teacher. She worked in some of the best cat houses in town. She really did. Specialized in cat businessmen. A real pro. Maybe you didn't notice. Too bad if you don't believe me. You're never gonna see her again. Jake, don't make me kill you. Jake, I'm serious. What the hell are you doing? Jake, I'm not fooling around. Jake, God damn it, freeze! Still have it? Are you crazy? Hey, what am I supposed to do? Leave it there with my fingerprints on it hey, and everything? Hey, yo, hey, but watch it, will you? Give me that, man. Are you crazy? Sorry. Have you ever fired one of these pups before, Batman? I mean, it would be really bad news if you only seriously wounded him. Hey, man, he was missing half his head, okay? Yeah. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Look, man, when it gets dark, you take this and you throw it in Lake Michigan. No, I don't think so, man. I, I'm serious. Listen, just listen, okay? Okay, I think I should just call the cops about this whole right. thing. Call it no, cops. good Listen, idea. Man, <clears throat> Jake, Jake went and threatened you guys, man. Okay, and then Brain dies in some phony accident. I mean, give me a break. Jake confronts me with that gun in the first place. We fight, it goes off. Self-defense, plain and simple, it's just no, like that. No, no, no. It's not yes. plain and simple. Look at the facts, man. You ran off with Jake's woman. That of course he gets man. upset. Then he gets mean, shot man. dead the next day with no witnesses around. So what do you do? You walk into the police station and you say, I shot him in self-defense. It's not plain and simple. No. It doesn't make sense. Look, dealers get killed all the time. The cops are just going to think it's another drug-related murder. Yeah, those cops are a couple of jagoffs anyway. What the fuck are you worried about? Wit, there's nothing to connect you with Jake except Alicia. So where's Alicia? Shit, she's in Michigan. Jesus. I bet she screwed her. Just act casual, okay?
Love. I've got some bad news for you. I'm at Dave Riley's house. He's dead. Now, we think we got a line in who did it. Where's Whitaker? I haven't seen him. No. OK. Jesus fuck, man. What happened to you? Man, I can't believe this is happening, man. I can't believe this is happening. Don't tell me you were there. Oh, man. I was asleep. And when I woke up, man, Dave was dead. Man. Could it be Jake? Oh, no way, man. No, we went by Jake's place before we ditched a gun last night. The cops were right there. I mean, there's no way he's got to be dead. Listen, man, the cops are on their way here now. What are you going to do? Man, I don't know. I don't know. Man, it's, it's no use. I mean, uh, a mailman saw me. He saw me running out of Dave's place. There's, you know. <laughs> Listen, man, the cops are on their way here now. Come on! You gotta go! Man, I gotta get cleaned up. No, I can't man, go out like on. this. You gotta go now. Come on! Get a move on! You gotta get out of here! Let's go! Come on, Shit, man. You think it could be Hitman? Man, no Hitman would have left you alive, man. Get out of here. Don't stop. No. No. They're gone. Just a few hours ago, I guess. Shit. Wise, where did you learn how to drive? I'll take care of the driving, honey. You just keep your eyes peeled for the kid. I'd be happy to, honey, if you don't get us killed in the interim. Hey, look, this isn't vice. If you can't handle it, maybe you ought to think about getting another job, you know? Maybe like an airline stewardess. Maybe I ought to think about getting another partner. Just keep your eyes peeled for the kid for now, all right? OK, sure. Hey, there he is. Hey, I, no, I'm not up. kidding you, Frank. That's him. That's him. All right, oh, all right, I, I got him. him. Jeez, now I am listen, a good Corman, goddamn Corman, cop, you know that? Corman! Oh, shit. I'll handle this. You just right. stay cool. Hello, Whitaker. Police! Run him! gonna go down tough on you, boy. Really tough. Right. What'd I do? How about murder? Oh, this is gonna go down hard on you. Right. You scum what? His license says he's William Ames. He lives in the neighborhood. Oh, crap. All right, we'll let you go this time. But stay out of trouble. I'll drive this time. Fine. I'm walking. Hey, Frank, don't be an idiot. Get in the car.
Frank, if you don't knock it off, I'm going to tell your wife. Hey, you going to join me here or what? Frank! Hey, get, get back in there. Where the hell are you going? Told you. Well, tell me anyway. Honey, da, Jake, honey, Larry Street. Oh. Honey, then. Okay, now don't go away, Jag off. Oh man, am I glad to see you. I shake hands with you right now, but I'm all tied up. What the hell happened to you? What does the other guy look like, like me? Glad to see you got that thing to get these cuffs off me. You know, I didn't tell that cop a thing. Nothing. I wish he didn't even say <laughs> that. hardly talk to him. Mr. Huntington!
went berserk and killed all his friends. Some nice policeman. And then committed suicide with his lover. Why, the sick bastard even made an attempt at the life of James. But I think his last murder will be the most, uh, sadistic and demented. Perhaps it will have the most, say, grisly, mean-spirited, sexually oriented dismemberment ever depicted. I don't have a chainsaw, of course. I told you I was going to torture you, wit. Alicia's dead, wit. Why don't you give it up? This is your opportunity to join her. You couldn't do the job with a real gun, wit. Your ass is my meat. <laughs> Oh, shit.